So I finally got my Deuce after waiting four months after I pre-ordered it. And when I when it came in, came with no box, <laughs> no accessories, no tips. Didn't even come with a cable at all. Like I'm not talking about the pre-order blood cable or the engraving case, didn't come with that either. But it came with no cable at all. So this is very odd because it's the first time where I'm encountering just receiving like a Saran wrap package. But it turns out that they mixed up my order with someone else. And this was actually supposed to be a replacement order for somebody else who's I'm assuming <laughs> they're dude's already you know broke or something but Ben the CEO reached out to me and he did say that mine is still stuck somewhere in Canada after <laughs> four months of waiting uh which is you know not a good look right because a guy in my discord ordered his off of bloom after like it was like officially released he already got his deuce before me which you know I ordered four months ago in July 23rd but yeah this whole thing has just been like a shit show a do show you could say and unfortunately i'm not in the minority who is experiencing this go check out my community post go look at the comments just everybody is like experiencing some form of issue from tracking to like getting ghosted by customer service yeah not a great look from fat freak but the most important question is how does the deuce actually sound basically if you are a bass head you're gonna like these. These will be a home run for you. So yeah, this is the shit for bass heads. Low and wise, the deuce has a thick and heavy texture and the decay and the bass notes are slightly prolonged to give you that extra reverby effect and that extra rumble in the notes. It does go pretty deep. It's very like satisfying when it comes to the sub bass. There's a lot of it obviously and I don't have the <laughs> impedance adapter. I didn't get one so I can't really like talk about that but I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be even more bass with the impedance adapter. And as for the scoop on the graph, I don't hear it at all. It doesn't sound thin or hollow like the variations. Now the mid bass isn't slamming since like it's more of a sub bass oriented set, but it's not scooped out. It's fine. You're not gonna run into any issues with the mid bass. Stock wise, the sub bass is actually pretty well controlled as I don't hear any of the distortions and the vocals like I do with the Scarlet Minis. And I do prefer this over both the Scarlet and the Myers Rose just because it scales better while still giving you the same satisfying like bass texture. The Myers Rose and the Scarlet can be a little bit like sharp and energetic when it comes to the upper mids and treble. This is just like smoother, scales better, it's more enjoyable overall and they're cheaper as well. And overall the bass quality is solid. You're gonna love these if you're bass set they're very fun they slam nice the rumble is there the texture is more or less there it's not going to be the most resolving when it comes to bass notes now when it comes to the technical performance these are not the best at around 200 dollars surprise surprise you know it's a bass head set the quintet the super mix 4 the nova chopin single tress they're all going to be better when it comes to detail retrieval, you know, separation, layering, stuff like that, resolution. And when it comes to bassier sets like the T-Pros and the Hype Fours, those are just going to be better when it comes to resolution, you know, extension, and the treble, imaging. They're going to be the better pick overall as an all-rounder for most people who are looking to have a more balanced sound signature, but still having like that bassy fun sound to the low end. Obviously, if you're a bass set, you're still going to like the deuce better, but the low end on the T's and the Hype Fours are quicker. The attack and the decay feel snappy they feel sharper the note weight is lighter you know again both of those are gonna be like better balanced whereas something else like the Dischinkos has a heaviness and slam like the deuce but it's just more focused when it comes to the mid bass it makes it better for rock and jazz the drums just go harder on the Dischinkos because you know there's just more mid bass is more filled in as well as being slightly better technically over the deuce I will say though these are better than the Dischinkos when it comes to hip-hop rap EDM stuff with a lot of sub bass if you like that subwoofer kind of sound the deuce will obviously be the better pick over these Dischinkos and QC and customer service aside, I would still recommend the Deuce because it is really only the base headset that I know of at around $200. Just don't buy it from Fat Freak. Literally like anywhere else and you're gonna be chilling. I don't think anyone who got it from Linso or Amazon is running into any of these issues. Just don't get it from Fat Freak. All right, so my mic died, so we're just gonna be using my laptop. Sorry for the audio, but there is one IEM I wanna talk about before we end the review and that is the Letcher Oshida E20. I actually didn't even know this IM existed until some guy mentioned it on HBP's thread saying that it's better than the deuce even though it's like 30 bucks and I was like oh, I don't know about that so I bought it out of curiosity and the guy he's kind of right I got these in two days off of Amazon Prime came with a cable and the package 
and it is also a two dynamic driver set with a beryllium DD inside and technically it's actually better than the Deuce which is not a good look because I got this for under 30 USD uh, which is nine times cheaper than the Deuce. And a being it back and forth with the Deuce, the E20 is actually better in most areas. The treble is better extended, the bass is quicker even after EQ while maintaining the slam. The stage feels more open, there's more treble, the treble extension is better, the vocals are clearer because there's more upper mids, imaging is sharper as well, and just overall resolution <laughs> is actually better on the E20. And I am not affiliated with the set by like in any way, I just bought it out of curiosity and these did really surprise me. Now the main difference is that the Deuce's low end still feels heavier, it goes deeper, there's more rumble in the sub bass. The decay is more prolonged giving it that like more reverby feeling. It does scale better as well because it is smoother when it comes to upper mids and treble. Now this doesn't mean the E20 is bad in the bass, as the bass is actually very nice. It doesn't go as deep as the Deuce, but it's still like <laughs> gonna be more than enjoyable for most people who want like a bass head presentation. These are an amazing value if you are willing to EQ. A hidden gem in my opinion Opinion. But if you just want a bass headset, I think the Deuce is still the way to go because the bass presentation is still like deeper, it's heavier, it rumbles more, and that's what bass heads are really looking for. Stock wise, no EQ, the Deuce is still the way to go if you want a bass headset without like spending like around $1,000. I do prefer these more than the Maestro Minis and the Scarlet Minis, and it is a lot cheaper as well when you compare it to them. But yeah. Very interesting turn of events to say the least. Remember, do not buy the deuce from Fat Freak. Get it literally from anywhere else and you're gonna be fine. Anyhow, let me know in the comments what your experience has been with uh, Fat Freak in general and, and the deuce, right? But I hope this review is helpful. Thanks for watching guys. I got a big announcement or not big, but like I got an announcement coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see everyone in the next one. Shout out to Rarx Cat, Dom Q, Star Buccaneers, This Call Scottus, B Urak, Mystic Spoon Attack, Oh Really, Walker Standard, User, Ernest, Patrick, Polly J, Mr. Gorillas, Anton Risto, Gis Sing Yun, Ed Dunlap, Christopher Jackson, Name, Henry Claudia, Son of a Horse, 777ZK, Ben Thompson, Asher, Obi, Contain Guava Juice Gains, Triple Well Extended, Wizard, Frickalicious, Luigi, Andrick, Ricardo, Tapas and Nathaniel. Thank you guys so much.